had a bird feeder that he had hung outside right in front of the picture window and we were so happy because cardinals would come oh. and they would eat at this stuff every day and it was like it was like every day you saw a different mural outside right. of your house right. if you don't own a birdhouse and this is the first bird first birdhouse i've ever sold here at mm -hmm. hsn i'm so excited because these are about as charming as a birdhouse can freaking get i'm okay? sorry this is cuteness uh, overload carrie mobley is here with us today these are brand new i love the price you could not go out and buy the wood and build this thing yourself oh. for less than thirty dollars right and, and for the artisanship with this oh i gosh. mean it's about so precious so many great details in this uh, i don't have this kind of creativity but i'm so glad somebody did and i'm They're really awesome. proud to be able to present it <laughs> i love what you said because i have a similar situation i have both a birdhouse and a bird feeder right outside in the back of my house and the boys i have four boys they will sit out there and they are fascinated with yeah. these birds i want you to check this out because this isn't a bird feeder this is actually a bird, bird house. house did i say bird feeder you didn't oh, no, okay. no, yeah, yeah. no absolutely no, it's not a bird house. right it's a bird house right. and so we have a teeny tiny little hole which is going to be perfect for those finches right and for the little tiny like chickadees yeah, yeah so and in the back i want you to notice that there's a nice little door and in this door at the end of the season you can easily clean it out you just kind oh of lift gosh. it up and you know brush How brush cute. brush it out it's just precious and yeah. it's really really well made this is non-toxic paint and this is a nice weatherproof wood resin it's going to last you and last you and i just absolutely love the fact that you can now educate yourself on different yeah. birds you can educate your kids or your oh grandkids i think we all have a memory yeah. about a birdhouse when totally. we were growing up and you you can either uh put it up you know up on a counter on a porch or a patio or whatever or you can hang it from a little shepherd's hook like we have there you can hang it from a tree it's adorable these are only 24.95 these are all handcrafted of of pine and you'll see they even have little shingles on the roof ah. and i'll kind of turn it to the side so you can see mm -hmm. this is the little um sort of a little burlapy uh, hook that you can or a string that you can hang it from you have a little hole built in there and that's just small enough for your smaller birds you know you listen you don't want blue jays and giant birds going in there because first of all <laughs> they steal little birds eggs which is why my oh, father hated blue jays yes. uh, but they will they'll steal little little baby birds so this is a way to protect them and then to carrie's point if you try, look at the look at the little flowers on the side is of the house precious? I mean, right. even there's a window box on the yep. side as well. Just adorable. I love this. And it's only $24.95. Um, and honestly, when you look at this and put this out, it's going to attract a bird. And once you get a bird in there, it's so much fun because when the mama does fly away, the kids can walk over and they can look inside. Right. And they can see the little bird that's inside or the little eggs that are inside. It really is fun and it's very, very charming. Um, and it'll actually bring the birds to uh, to your door, uh, to your back, uh, you know, back area if you have a patio. We mentioned easy cleaning. This is the only area. I think officially that we have of the birdhouses. You choose either yellow or you choose blue, brand new, and they're very, very limited. I mm -hmm. love that there's nothing to do but hang it. Right. And now, listen, right? these birdhouses can be used either for birds to seek shelter right. during a storm, or of course, like you said, they can start a family in here. And you can even see that they're so precious that you can use them as decor inside your house as well. Um, up behind me, when, when we're done showing you this video, because look, we can have it on a great shepherd's hook. You can just kind of nestle it. You know that area like above your cabinets in the kitchen where there's nothing up there? Look at how pretty It would that just is. be precious see it, it's pretty for inside and outside sure. and um, again it's weatherproof resin wood come back here I just want to show you this we have one of our solar lamp posts that are going to be in the two o'clock hour mm -hmm. but here we have it hanging here with one of our hanging baskets yeah. I mean this whole area is just something that says spring and it's going to draw the birds in it's going to entertain you you're going to find yourself researching birds looking for exactly what they are and just enjoying the experience I yeah. mean it's kind of like becoming one with nature in the cutest way possible. I, I love all the little details and see how everything has its own little unique color and everything is painted. They even darkened the windows to make it look like, you know, a real house. And look at the front door. It's done in red on this one. There's a little flower a basket, a basket, a little planter. They left one open so you could probably put whatever you want in there. Yeah, exactly. Right? Maybe if you some wanted. food. Yeah, to try yeah. to draw them and in. And then there's a little <laughs> latch at the back and that's how you open the little door. Yep. And so you for can easy cleaning. see what's going on in there and then you shut it. And that's all that you need to keep it locked, obviously, when you're not there. You know, keeps uh, the birds... The bigger, where, yeah, right. the bigger critters out right. as well. And then, you know, as the eggs grow, whatever, the, the mother will, will clean the nest as it goes, but eventually you're going to want to pull the old uh, nest out so you have access to the back. We only brought in 2,000. 
My producer Kyle tells me that the most popular, I'm going to guess before you say it, is going to be yellow. What do you think it is? Yes, it is. It's yellow, yeah. All right, if you want them, very limited. They are on FlexPay today. Re reduced shipping of only uh, $12, or, or, or uh, FlexPay at $12.48, and reduced shipping of only 5 bucks. I just think, you know, when it comes to a garden setting, and this is about outdoor solutions, it's little details that make all the difference. Like, we have the three-tiered planner coming up mm -hmm. with Rebecca, and it's like... It, it, it's a little thing, but when you look at it and you look at the whole space and you see what it adds, the little bit of dimension, like look at that. That's if you didn't it. have that bird feeder there, it would still look nice. Right. But it, it doesn't have, it's, it's just flowers. You need some character. Uh, That's what we're looking character. for. Yep. Yes. And you know, a lot of people collect bird houses and maybe it's something that you want to start collecting because once I saw these, I immediately wanted to start collecting bird oh feeders. Gosh, I mean, yeah. they're about as cute as can be. And again, this is going to draw in those smaller birds, the chickadees, the, you're going to get the finches. And Kids will always remember having a bird mm -hmm. feeder when they were growing up. I remember my mom having one. We had, you know, a nice big piece of property out in the country in Michigan, and she had a giant one, and we used to see the cardinals come as well. It was really special, and yeah. it's something that I'll never forget. And maybe yeah. you had one when you were growing up, and this is a, a nice way for you to kind of relive your own childhood mm -hmm. in a nostalgic way. Well, and what you what the company has done, Field Smith has done, is and we were talking about the types of birds in there. They made the bird uh, house, or the hole for the bird house, small enough so that it is for small smaller birds, but which is great because those are the birds that love to nest in things like this in the holes of trees and things like that, mm -hmm. whereas a lot of other birds will nest in larger nests like blue jays and things like that, uh, robins, you know, larger yeah. birds. But, you know, like we said, finches, wrens, little little birds will go in there. And they've the, the hole that, that they've put in there is designed for the size of the birdhouse. You understand what I'm saying? So the birdhouse is not a big, giant birdhouse. Right. It's small enough for a small bird to come in. And I know that your kids and if your few grandparents are out there and you're looking for something fun to do with your kids because I have a very good friend that lives in Tennessee and her mom had a birdhouse on the porch mm -hmm. and she would come over and be like, be very quiet. And she would open the back door She'd say, you don't want to touch anything, but right. she'd open and we'd see the bird, little baby birds. Oh, I love it. Freaking what awesome. a wonderful so cool. Mother's Day yep. gift. So grab this and put it in yep. a basket and you'll right. be good to go. All right, good job, Carrie Mobley. Thank you so much. All right, listen, um, really quickly.